Hello? Hello? Ah! Who are you? What do you want? Uh, I, I'm responding to your ad. You scheduled this meeting, I think. Your applicant, your applicant 11, I believe. So tell me, why do you want this job? Uh, well, I'm, I'm out of the work, out of work with the current crisis, as you know. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I had nothing to do with that virus. Who says I did? What? No one saw me. You can't prove anything. Besides, I don't know anything about polymerization of amino acids or protein synthesis. At least, I think that's what they call it. I, I read that somewhere. Okay. What did you do before the mainstream media forced you out of your job? Uh, well, I was a producer for a movie company. I also did set design and won an award. Oh, that could be useful. Say, you're not one of those globe tarts, are you? I'm sorry, a, a what? A globe tart, a person who thinks the earth is real. Hang on. That's my iPhone. You have an iPhone, right? The kids, all the kids have iPhones. I have an iPhone too. What? Why wouldn't I? I have to answer it now. Pardon me while I take this call. It's private. What do you want? They found the bodies. Are any of the parts usable? I have to. I have. It's, I have to unlock the phone. It's biometric. Just a minute. Are you there? Okay. Go ahead. Fine, I will text you the instructions. I have to text him a message, don't look. Are you looking? No. Did you get that? Fine, don't ever call here again. Well, there's been a change. I need you to start immediately. Uh, wow. wow. I've got your assignment right here. Oh, okay. Um, do you have to buy or? Oh, no, no. I'm going to use Rocket Mail. Oh, okay. So my email address is. Let's see. Um, oh, an actual rocket. Okay. Um, so do you need my address? Oh, no. Apparatus 33, it will find you. Greetings, fellow Flat Earthers. I'm happy to say that the fine folks at Mucus brand Seacombs and Bladders have agreed to sponsor this series of videos to prove, once and for all, that the Earth is flat. If you're like Dr. Labcoat, you've had it up to your uvula with high-priced Seacombs for even the simplest of bladder and gas bag resections. Not only are ordinary Seacombs overpriced, they become flammable after minimal usage and sometimes even explosive, am I right? Oh man, good times. So, Flat Earther friend, isn't it time you switch to lubricated mucus brand Seacombs and Bladders? Use the links below and get additional discounts from me, Dr. Labcoat, if you buy before the next rapture. Now, back to the video. Hello? Hello? Oh, God. oh. You came back. Did you finish your assignment? Uh, I think so. I tried to follow your plans as best as I could, and I sent them all. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I did receive something. Oh, okay. Is, um, this, is this it? Well, I know you wanted me to build a life-size model of Earth to demonstrate that it cannot possibly be spherical. It is kind of small. Well, the budget you gave me would only pay for that. Uh, fine. Then explain it to me. Dr. Labcoat's hypothesis for this experiment was based on the notion that water seeks its own level, that is, water cannot conform to a curved surface, and in any event, regardless of its shape, spinning at 1,000 miles per hour would fling all the Earth's water into space. Therefore, the Earth is neither spinning, nor is it globe-shaped. To test the hypothesis, I was to build a model of the solar system, according to his vision, but use a globe-shaped Earth and thereby demonstrate water falling to conform to the curved surface and visibly watch water flying off when put in motion. The budget he provided would not cover the one-to-one -one scale per his model instruction, so I had to scale things back and cut some corners. The Earth's model shown here is clearly a tennis ball that, at 2.5 inches in diameter, gives us a scaling factor of 4.5 to the negative ninth. 
With this scaling factor, I computed the depth of the water on the surface of the tennis ball stand-in for Earth and its rotational velocity. I was not able to scale the mass or size of a water molecule. Not even Dr. Labco can do that. Finally, I could not locate a motor that rotated slowly enough to scale the 15 degrees per hour of Earth's alleged rotation. So the model, like all models and metaphors, is flawed. It rotates too fast, the simulated oceans are too deep, and the water molecules are too massive. But the model is not so seriously wounded as to invalidate the observations we seek. From this, we can conclude the following. The centripetal effect at the equator is not sufficient to overcome what holds the water in place. In the case of the tennis ball, the nap and surface tension hold the water to the curved surface. In the case of Earth, gravity is the best explanation. Second, and most important, water is never flat. Water will conform either to its own surface tension or whatever forces are stronger than its surface tension, and surface tension is strong. Left to its own, fluids seek to be spherical. In general, fluids prefer to be a sphere. I know these are not the results Dr. Labcoat wanted. I hope he will be professional and accept the outcome, rather than force the data into his preferred conclusion. You're saying that this model fails to prove that water doesn't seek its own level, that it can stay in the ocean, and that in fact Earth is a globe and water will take whatever shape is stronger than the forces that exert on it, such as surface tension. Is exactly. that what this model proves? Exactly. Why I are. <laughs>